Welcome back, Last Man in episode 72. I'm here with Cam and Dan. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. World Junior rosters have finally been set. Uh, Jets just finished up a road trip in Calgary and Edmonton. And uh, Christmas is coming. Like, it's only a couple days away, so that's awesome. It is awesome. I can't yeah. wait. What are you asking for for Christmas? I didn't really ask for much. You probably ask for a day planner. Why? A scheduler, because it's episode 73, Greg. Is it? Oh. Yeah. You know what's awesome? This is, Christmas is last week. This is great. Oh, cheap uh, boy to cover up that he didn't get us gifts. You son, son of a bitch. Cheap bastard. <laughs> wasn't a ploy. Yes, it was. I was not present on episode 72, so it didn't happen. Yeah, you were. To be fair. Your voice was present. You sang with me. To be fair, I, Very I completely poorly. saw this coming. We did. We were talking about it, was, it on the way over. Dan's like, what are the chances Greg has his gift? I'm like, oh, well below 50%. Well below. They forgot to remind me. No, we set up plans and everything. It's unbelievable. I've been very busy. I've been if sick. If I could bless you with the gift, like any ability, it'd be commu- better communication skills for Greg, 2016. If you could bless me with a skill, I would like it for be to be that just one of the Russian porno stars is real who follow me on Instagram, and she actually wants to follow me. I've had one, like like my picture, like three separate times. Really? Yeah. I have one of my pictures. Yeah. It's at ninety nine likes, but I know like forty of them are bots. But I would have. I want to hit the one hundred just once. Just, just, <laughs> okay. just once. I know it's fake, but um, I want it so bad. What do you mean, better communication skills? I think I communicate very well. Yeah. When would you have told us today, Greg, that you can't you can't pick me up and you can't make it until nine? If it wasn't for me texting you, it would have never happened. It's true. Yeah, you know, I dropped the ball there. I've been oh, so you didn't, preoccupied. You didn't drop the ball. You stabbed it. You stabbed it five, I've six I've been times. preoccupied. It's been a busy holiday season. It's, been, it's always busy. Yeah. I hey, think, you guys I think Tom busy. Brady has handled your ball the last uh, last was a week. little deflated. Yeah. Just speaking of stabbing things in balls, wow. um, I just heard the shittiest dad joke the other day. Did you know that if you stab a head of lettuce 23 times, any salad sees your salad? Because Caesar got stabbed twenty three times before he died. It's the worst joke ever. But technically, see, you know what? You know a joke is bad when you have to explain. I feel like to people. No, I know the look. I feel like <laughs> like a literature major. If you told that to them, they'd be like, they'd find it super <laughs> funny. <laughs> if I had just read Julius Caesar, which is my favorite Shakespeare um, play, is it? Yeah, I actually yeah. quite like it. Oh, Who the I hell like is Orange Julius? Julius. No, I don't know what Julius Caesar is, but I know what Orange Julius is. It's true, delicious. That man knows how to Julius Caesar was betrayed. What? Julius Caesar was betrayed, just like I was by you guys. I don't know. How were, how were we betrayed? No, In how, what way did how? we betray you at all? How? We brought gifts. We how, brought how? gifts and we went out of our way to extend the podcast like 10 minutes to get a hold of you last podcast. Like, did you betrayed. you listen to it? It was the most awkward me 10 minutes. Yeah, I know it was. Yeah. It was I'm going to try, gonna try him again. <laughs> and the funny thing was, I kept checking my phone and I'm like, he's going to call me eventually. I'm like, well, I guess he's not going to call me. Put it down on the table and like... That's the Walking moment it happened. <laughs> you sealed your own fate. I did. That's Murphy's Law. That's what happened. As fate would have it, Jay's status appeared to be at an all-time high. Perfect time to say, say goodbye. goodbye. What's that from? When I come back, like, join into, like, games, it's menu. You uh, hold That's you, blown you, this man's a reads. It's Jay-Z. Cocksucker, take one for your team. Oh. Need you to remember one thing. One thing, I pay my saw concrete for my good sense. Sold out concerts. concerts. If you want this encore, I need you to scream. I'm lost in so tired of being what no. you want. Ah, you all joined Stop. in. I did it. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you so much. Okay, what are we actually talking about on the show? We are talking about the briefly the Winnipeg Jets. Jets. Literally, the Moose had no games. Nothing. Yeah, they had a, the dr- no. the droppings. Moose become congested and they get what's that called when you can't poop? Constipated. constipated. They got constipated. They get constipated around the holidays. Who doesn't? A little bit of NHL and a lot of juniors. More specifically, Canada. Well, I and want to cert- talk about a team that scores 10 goals in one game. And another team that, a certain player from that team who, Mr. Hockey, they call him, Willie Hockey. I, very sad news. About him. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard. You've heard. You've no, heard. I haven't heard. Anyways, let's I've been ju- so out of touch with everything. Let's jump Literally. right into it. Okay, Jets. They played the Flames. At last podcast, but we they didn't finish a game. What was the final score, Dan? God damn it. 4 1. Correct. <laughs> a game they had could have won. They could have won. Johnny Gaudreau got a hat trick. The game just got out of hand. Yeah. The Jets got uh, got away from their system. 
and the Flames played their what apparently they have a system. Ran to a hot goalie again, which yeah. didn't help. But and then they uh, the Pens came to town, and they right won before Christmas. The Jets won one nothing. Off they of did. apparently that's one of the, it's the third third time in NHL history that a game has been decided one nothing by a penalty shot goal, and that's the first penalty shot goal in Atlanta Thrashers Winnipeg Jets history. What? No, it's the first home penalty shot goal since the Jets came back. But still, no, no, ever, no, ever. They've scored in penalty their, shot goals in their Ilya history. Kovalchuk has that, never yeah, scored one. Vander Kane scored one for Atlanta. I'm pretty sure. That's, That's the stat a, I heard. If I'm incorrect, I'm I heard it was no. the first penalty shot goal the Jets, Jets have scored since they came back to Winnipeg. I heard Jets Thrashers history, but I could definitely uh, be wrong. I don't want to be a for dick a guy that watched it. He would know. I don't want to be a dick about it. But they, they, they don't have a lot of history. It's, it's true. not that far back. Yeah, they don't even have a playoff win yet. It's true. Like, Columbus has a playoff win. They That's have two. True. But, but they just want to go in and they want to win it all. When they yeah, win. they're they're not going to. Not, not, not this year. year. Maybe. No. Hey, they, there's a lot of good consolation prizes. And we'll get to that, too. Uh, one of those guys that's fallen quite a bit, too. Who Who's what? Jacob Chitron. No longer in the top ten. But we we got more. To we'll, we'll get lead into that. Oh, and then the Jets play who last night? The, the Detroit Dead Things. Am I right? He'd be four. Wow, I don't know. guys, we're all losers. Did you get Did you get some news over the holidays? What? Like, are you gonna be a dad or? No, that'd be awful. <laughs> don't you have to be? Because these jokes to... are bad. Oh, nice. That was a good one. Okay, I like that. Please, careful. You're playing. Greg's playing with scissors right now. We're really organized. Yeah, we are. <laughs> October 8th, 2010, Evander Kane scored a penalty shot goal. Was so, it at home? Okay. Against the Caps. So it's not the first. It's the first home. It, oh, yeah. It's the first home penalty shot goal the Jets have scored since they came back. It's been settled. That's still a That's long official. ass time. That's that official. is still a long ass We didn't time. announce that Adam Lowry got called back up. Yeah, what happened to Mark Shifley? And oh, he, shit. Because Mark Shifley got hit by Andrew Ladd in practice and he's out for a week with a concussion. Andrew Ladd is trying to send a message because Shifley, he heard rumblings that Shifley might get a contract. So Andrew Ladd's like, fuck this kid. <laughs> Did they like, just bump into each other? Yes. I, 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 from from the sounds of the reports, they basically just coincidentally ran into each other. And uh, Shifley got the problem. Well, you know what? Joke's on Andrew Ladd because since that happened, he got taken off the first line. That's directly correlated for <laughs> I'm sure. I'm just saying. <laughs> he's not on the first line anymore. I don't think he deserves any kind of contract that he's asking for right now. Andrew Ladd, Andrew Ladd and Dustin Bufflin just, have just been disappointing this season. At the moment, yeah. I think Buff's been fine. Well, speaking I of think even Ladd's both of those guys, or all three of those guys, did Buff score last night? Mm, no. Well, Andrew Ladd scored once and Truba scored twice. And who scored the other goal? Burmy. Burmy finally scored. Oh, did he? Okay, so it's four. Like I said. What are your thoughts on that? A ton of talent. He does shit all on the ice. He's the most frustrating player to watch. He's so talented, he does absolutely nothing. It's just, but I, is it also his line mates? Like who, no. who are his line mates? Because I, I haven't seen him separated from Thorburn in a while. Well, he's playing with Ehlers, and I think Ehlers, I think that's a waste of Ehlers being down there. But yeah, but how you? We talked <sighs> about this before. There's so many. They gotta, they gotta figure it out. They gotta do something. Well, he's playing with Ladd and Lowry right now. So well, they gotta pull the trigger. Something more interesting that I do want to talk about. Yeah. Oh, the goalie. Situation now because Pavlik's going to be coming back soon. So, what do they do? They can't send Hellebuck down after the way he's been playing. You just can't. Well, so, what, what should they do? Paul Maurice was quoted as saying he's not opposed to having three goalies on the roster when Pavlik comes back. Does, but how does that work? But how, having do, how does said that, work for NHL contracts? Here's the, the thing. I think I, no, you're allowed fifty. And it, you're allowed yeah. fifty contracts. Oh, it doesn't hurt. Calgary oh, yeah. had three goalies last year. True. For yeah. year. Okay. So it um, just hurts. You're only allowed to have so many players up, which means they have yeah. to keep a player down. I honestly, my my honest opinion, I think they'll try and trade Hutchinson before the end of the year, and I think they'll go with Pavlik and Hellebuck next year, because Hutch Hutch is, is an RFA next year, and like this year, right? This year, sorry, after and like okay. he's a good goalie. He's had a rough year and. But the goalie market just isn't that hot right now. And you No, but someone to take him because they can sign him for a pretty friendly contract. My oh. question is, is do you think that the Jets at all were trying to go after Zach Cassian with his deal with getting Scrivens? Because they know that Montreal is weak at goaltender, so uh, might have tried to... I wouldn't have done Hutch for, so. uh, for Cassian, if no? that's what you're asking. Okay. No, I don't think they were. Well, I mean, look at Scrivens. He was, he, ben Scrivens, he was in the AHL yeah, for the past, since true. basically the start of the year, so... 
and he was wasn't even getting that much playing time down there either. Yeah. It's, so it's like it's an AHL goalie for a player who could be an AHL or could be a Brink NHLer. They they really were willing know. to chance it. I yeah. think I wouldn't a, chance Hutch for Cassian. If anything, I think they would have taken a swipe at Sam Gagne on waivers yesterday if they wanted some. Oh yeah, yeah go play because they could have gotten him for nothing. But, yep. Uh, and really, their waiver wire pickups have worked for. Yeah. For quite some time. Well, good? Grant Clitsum, they got James Wright off waivers. Adam Party? No, Party was a signing. Hey, Peluso? Signed, yeah. Peluso was a waiver. Uh, Mietnin was a waiver. He was all right when he was here. Mittens. Mittens. They called him. I don't know. I mean, it's curious. I mean, there, it's 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 going to get to a point where they're going to have to make a decision, and if they get hot, they're right back in the playoff race. But if they continue to be mediocre, then what are they going to do? Yep. Because if you're if you're going to be a mediocre team with Ladd and Bufflin and these guys on your team, do you really want to fork out a ton of money to keep nope. them? I wouldn't. I mean, I also think think about what you can get for Ladd at the deadline. True. Uh, possible, incredibly beautiful contract. A possible for game, what he yeah. brings to the table. A possible game changer though is they've moved Truba up to playing with Bufflin, and they have been playing amazingly well together. Yep. So maybe so they've made might, their decision already. So that so 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 that might be their their decision that hey. We're going to try and keep buff. Cause, I mean, Is that a $15 million pairing? <sighs> Though, which that's, I mean... Potentially. The, <sighs> the only downside is... I don't is, think you can pay that pairing $15 million. Here, I'd be comfortable paying them 10 Here's the money. downside. Truba's probably got <laughs> three or four years to reach his prime. In three or four years, buff could be on the downside. Yeah. So They're going to help each other. They're going to benefit each but, other. But they've been playing... Well, that's the thing. They've been playing so well together. I mean, it's it's a legitimate top, pair to, top pairing. Um, But... You know. They've been asking for it for a while. They're finally doing it. Yeah. So. I mean, they've replaced uh, Andrew Ladd with Drew Stafford on the top line. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, but yeah. he's playing with Little and Wheeler. Uh, just to round up, so. uh, Jets, they've gone... Ten, or they're 10-3-0 oh, when they score first this season. Interesting. So that's pretty good. Interesting. They're good at also f- holding on to leads. Mm, yeah. They and really as much are. as they've kind of been mediocre, they are only eight points out of being third in the Central. With, they're with, also with, how far out from last, with, too, right? With a game in hand on all the teams they're ahead. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's not terrible. And that's third. That's not wild card. Yeah. So that's good then. They aren't so, out of it. They just have to turn it on. They have so. to keep it going. Yeah. Um, anything right. else on the Jets? <sighs> nope. Not today. Are you guys gonna watch a Winter Classic? Uh, Maybe. Now that Brad Marchand found out today, he's suspended. suspended for yeah, for the hit. Who did he hit? Borowiecki or Bur Bur which who then tried to fight Chara and that was just a bad idea. that was the weird that was I watched that hit I'll try and find yeah. the clip and tweet it very weird uh, return of event like I didn't it, it's one of those things where you're like when you see it and then you're like how the hell what Marshawn's Why? explanation Why was that? that he was turning to cut up ice and when you look at it that looks like what he was doing but at the same time it's Brad think about the guy. Really? That's like, the second time you submarine somebody. Yeah, like, so. you think he didn't try and do it on purpose? Like, I'm yeah. sure he was going up the ice, but I mean... It's like what David Steckel did to Sidney Crosby, except no one remembers David Steckel. That's true. <laughs> yeah, how... Oh, man, it's, I still think he did that on purpose. It looked like it was yeah. on purpose. He just didn't react. He didn't look back. No. So, um, anyways, the Winter Classic, uh, the Habs are playing the Bruins, obviously, at Gillette Stadium. But fun fact... Uh, uh, during the activities, there's going to be the first ever outdoor women's classic yep. where Boston Pride of the National Women's Hockey League is going to take on the Canadian Canadian Women's from the Canadian Women's Hockey League Thursday, uh, so tomorrow, at one or two p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then at three thirty Eastern Standard Time, there is the alumni game, uh, and then of course Friday, January first at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Winter Classic. This Winter Classic Classic. Last lacks a lot of luster because Price probably isn't going to play. Yep, Marshawn's not playing, but uh, the Habs aren't doing that great. I think it makes up for the fact that this is the first time in a long time that the Winter Classic is legitimately a rivalry. Toronto, Detroit, there's no Nothing. rivalry there. Yeah. Washington, Chicago, there's no rivalry. Vancouver, Ottawa, there's no rivalry. Should Montreal, Boston. This they, is you legitimately. Tune in, you yeah. tune in, and well, maybe not. They necessarily. hate each other, and when, they still hate each other. When they play in the playoffs, I watch. Definitely, you, you watch. definitely watch that yeah. game. Yeah, I like. So. It's hard to find true rivalries in the NHL anymore. Like that are really big. They don't like each other. You That's got to be the biggest one. I think. Yeah. You know what game would be fantastic for Winter Classic? Jets Blues. Oh, every yeah. time they play each other is fen- like f- phenomenal hockey. Well, even speaking I, of that, oh sorry, Glenn. I wouldn't mind seeing a New York New York matchup. Yeah, 
Well, even there's rumors going on for that Winnipeg's getting the Heritage Classic most likely next year. And they they fucking people. There's three there are rumors uh, that there's they've narrowed it down to three teams. It's Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver. No, if I'm a smart man, I'm gonna say Vancouver's not even in the running. There's not much of a rivalry there. Yeah. Calgary could do it. But obviously Edmonton. it's gonna be Edmonton. Edmonton. Well it's gonna be Edmonton for the history of and them also whooping the fact, their ass. Connor McDavid on Connor the stage. Jesus. And exactly. Austin Matthews. Yeah. Why not do Minnesota? No, because well, Minnesota it's heritage, would right? be good because I, I guess yeah, it has to be too. Minnesota many teams would be there. good because of the fans. Yeah, but yeah. Edmonton would be good because of, there's history there, That's heritage. Yeah. And, it, and if they did like an alumni game, you'd have like the Dale Howard trucks. You could even get Timo Solani. Hey, um, get, no, that, no, that's not our franchise. Wouldn't. We'd be getting Ilya Kovalchuk, Marion Hosa. Keith Kachuk. I forgot. No. Yeah, he did play. Can we not just like use Jets of old though? No, huh? it's not our. Who franchise. is Atlanta's Patrick biggest? Stephon? Who is Oh, Atlanta? hell yeah. Ray, Her- Ray, Ray, Ferraro? Ray Ferraro? Oh, God. Kari Lettner? Can we have... Half, uh, half we of our have... alumni still play, so this could be nice. Uh... Shane Knighty? Play for the Thrashers? And he'd he, he, he double duty and do co- uh, t- color commentary. Wow, I almost uh, almost went there, and I'm not going to do it. Danny Heatley? Nope. Danny Heatley. Was singing somebody else along that line. Oh, you're terrible. Yeah, wow, really? I'm an awful wow. person. Wow! Oh, yeah. Jimmy Slater? Oh. No. <laughs> Who was uh? Did Chris did, Thorburn technically did Hedberg play, play for Atlanta? Who did Hedberg play for Atlanta? He did. He sure did. There we go. Uh, yeah. Trying to think of like who else was. In Although I'm pretty sure Minnesota. Jason the, Arnett. No, he didn't play for Atlanta. Fuck. I'm pretty sure that that was Nashville. He played for. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Wild are using North Stars for their alumni this year. So I imagine we probably could. Um. Yeah. I just want to say there's also a pretty good player that a uh, great trade. It worked out great. Um, we could have Alexei Zitnik. Dan, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you you could bring Brayden Coburn, too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, peachy. <laughs> that trade was fantastic for that year because they made the playoffs, but then... We could have Keith Kachuk, the only player to play yeah. for both franchises. Yeah, that's true. His son is just... His uh, we'll, we'll mirror get to that. image. We'll get to that. Um, oh. Uh, there's a certain Winnipeg former Winnipeg Jet uh, in the land where oh, I would never go if I was an NHL player forever. Yeah, now. Apparently, apparently. Evander you can't Kane do it. Nope. is, is do it. being investigated do it. for uh, sexual assault. I think what happened, the girl woke up and she's just like, yeah, Kane did it. And they're like, well, the white Kane isn't here. She just blamed it on him. Actually, like, yeah. <laughs> what I heard is just kidding. the girl, That's obviously, bad. yeah, no. The, the victim didn't even make the, the report, the hospital did. She ended oh, up at the hospital, really? didn't remember what happened, and they called the cops. And this, uh, the incident Allegedly. happened... Allegedly. Uh, relating so. to an alleged incident at a Buffalo hotel on Sunday de- Monday de- or Sunday morning, December 27th. And he, Kane wasn't at practice on Sunday. I flip and hope that this isn't true. I want fuck? I want him to be successful, not because... I just... He, you hear all these bad things about a guy, and you don't want them to be true, but part of me wanted them to be true, but now with his trade, I wanted that to all be behind him. But, Jesus, Murphy. It's just becoming more and more apparent that all the stuff that went around the media yeah. that was never confirmed about him is true. Yeah, that he was... I mean, yeah, these I, things don't pop up if you're not, a, not an asshole. Sorry. Yeah. Like, like, he says that we didn't that we, that we didn't like him because because he was black, because we're racist. No, we didn't like you because you're an asshole. Yeah. Like, you know. And it wasn't just like, it was multiple incidents. It wasn't just like one thing yeah. and then we blew it out of yeah. proportion. Like, it kept happening in Winnipeg. Like not I, this. Like, I'm but. confident in saying I would take Drew Stafford over Vander Kane any day of the week. Yeah, me too. He's done more for the team. Maybe he's not as you talented. You don't hear about him off the ice. He's not as talented as Vander Kane. He's talented. He contributes. He's a hardworking player. He's a, And he's yeah. worth every cent. And he's a good teammate. The teammate, the players like him. Yeah. I take him And any he likes day of the being week. here. He wants to be yeah. here. I take him any day of the week. I think the other issue with this is, like, obviously I hope it's not true. I don't wish ill upon anyone, but <clears throat> clearly uh, Buffalo is not a place you want to go to ever. Never go to Buffalo. That's true. Especially if your last name's Kane. Don't go to Buffalo. It's just bad things happen. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. Like, what else? What else? Can, what else can you say? About we the can't set? say we that until the news like, comes out, like, or that that we've already covered about Patrick Kane. It's an awful incident. We hope it's not true. But if it is, you're a terrible human being. If that's what you, I do. hope I'm not terrible for saying this. I hope it's not resolved till January 11th. Oh, well, because I'm because Buffalo plays here on January 10th. Yeah. yeah, he'll be. He won't. He might not even play over under that Jets fans are going to take the Philly chant and say it to him. Uh, What's, uh, she said no. Oh, I don't know. 
I was at the game when they played Chicago shortly after Philly did that here, and there was one drunk idiot that tried yelling it. And See that's during that's the, the, during the game, that, yeah. but it 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 never caught. Jets fans are pretty before. smart about that. They they don't so, cross the line for, in well, terms of that. Not too in often. terms of like the whole crowd. No, in terms of like the individual. Person, You're always gonna have that. Yeah, it's always assholes. Right. Exactly. Yeah, like there's always that one Philly fan in every single Winnipeg Jet crowd that takes it too far. Yeah. Why did you look at me when you said that? Because you're a Philly fan and you know how to take things a little too far. I do, but I never. By, by I nature, rarely do. Yeah, you 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 at least have self control. A lot of these Philadelphia. What, what, okay, what is a person from Philadelphia considered? Awesome. A Philadelphia? A Philadelphian? Philadelphian? I, don't know, I guess. I don't know. I've never looked into So, it. those Philadelphians. You yeah, what, that sounds right. You know what they aren't referred to as? Chip Kelliers. You know what else they aren't Christmas referred to came as? A late for Dan, but it happened. You know what else they aren't referred to as? Respectful. Oh, that's what you're going for. Winners. It's true. Fuck you. It, it's true. They've they won a win. cup, two of them. Yeah, okay, they've won. When? 74, 75? Exactly. I'm not saying Toronto's done any better. I'm just saying, what has Philly done lately? After, what, what have, have done Toronto lately? done lately? No, or what not, has Philadelphia no, done? The, the Eagles have, haven't won a Super Bowl. So. Vikings haven't won a Super Bowl. Eagles have. Have they never won a Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. They won it before about. it was a Super Bowl. Remember? We, we went over this? Right, yeah. The Phillies won a World Series a few years ago, but now they suck. Now their own starting pitchers, former starting pitchers, grabs his own nuts out the crowd. Have the 70s? Chopped it back. 76 is the most embarrassing have team. They won a game? Oh, my God. They're playing <laughs> Joel. Or who's that guy? They have two, they have two wins this Jalil year. Jalil Okafor? Did you guys see that video? No. Bro? Him beating, knocking the, this yeah. guy. Like out cold. I did. Oh, like at just, a bar. All you hear is like a no in the street. Like oh, in the street. Oh. The guy's calling him like uh, some choice words. And he's go what? And then he just like swung at him and boom, out cold. All you hear is the hit, and then the guy's face hitting concrete. In Canada, that's that's a crime. In the states, it's like man. Woodstock! Woodstock! <laughs> well, let me take a video! Oh, yeah. they, Vertical they can't, video! They can't see that I'm holding my no, phone up vertically. No, yeah. Don't no, horizontally. That's fine. Um, but moving on. Uh, to a more happy topic. Way happier topic. The World Junior Hockey Championships has begun. Ladies Have you watched any, Dan? No, my schedule doesn't allow me to. Yeah, um, I've worked and watched hockey at the same time. It's been great. Excellent. Well, I, I watched watch. a kick at or a shit kicking today. <sighs> okay, well, are we gonna let's just go from the shit let's kicking go from, backwards? No, let's let's just let's start. No, it. let's Can start. I, let's start with what happened Boxing Day, and we'll go forward. Okay, so Canada. Uh, Somehow managed to... Whoa, whoa, there was more important stuff that happened before then. You're goddamn right there was. There was. Uh, Fucking dirty ass Switzerlanders. Swiss, Swiss players? Swiss, Swiss players attacked the pride and joy of fucking Toronto hockey. Yeah, William Nylander, he plays for... And, and they gave him a dirty hit. That was brutal. Knocked Awful. him out. And Knocked he got a concussion. The player yeah. got a three-game suspension from War Juniors. Um, there Except was, Nylander's not going to play again, right? There was That's a... The news tell me. There Ever? was... Um, well, it's rumored that he might play the more. He okay. could possibly play oh, pre- preliminary or round robin. Or not round robin. Uh, metal round. Metal round. There's a reporter from Toronto. I wish I could remember his name. James Murrow. No, no. Um, Arash... M- no, can't, don't know who he is. May- maybe him? I, I don't want to put a name on it. Yeah. Anyways, one of the reporters based out of Toronto, or uh, in Toronto at least said, this is a message to all NHL teams that maybe you shouldn't send high-end investments to a tournament that's outside of Canada, only watched by hundreds. It's true. It's not big in the States. It's it's getting it, there, though. It's kind of. But it's not like, and it's not that big in Europe either. Look at the crowds. They're like a third full. Unless yeah. it's Finland, obviously yeah. the host country. It's like a third full. Mm-hmm. And then you go to Canada to watch by everybody, basically, or a lot of people. But is it now become the point of maybe we should have left him there? But then again, that accident could have happened in the AHL too. But the yeah. downside with players like William Nylander is because they're on that upper echelon going into the tournament, they're getting headhunted. How do you, okay, how do you tell a player at 19, his last year he has, to play in the World Junior Hockey Championship. To represent his country. To represent his country and tell him he can't do it. How hard do you think the Edmonton Oilers like had to tell Leon Dreisaitl, we're not sending you to Germany, only to send you to Junior a month later? Like that's that a was tough, a big-ass slap in the it's face. It's a tough conversation to have, and it's an even tougher thing to just deny somebody that luxury, right? It's almost like, okay, so you're going to keep me in the AHL for another year. Like, what am I gaining here that I couldn't go and play for my country? For three weeks I'm gone. Three weeks and I'll be back. And you know what? 
these things happen. It's hockey. I'm okay with it. Plus, you know what? If you send grade A talent to it, it's only going to make the players around him better. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm all for it, but yeah. it was just an interesting take because it is an interesting take because Nylander's, at, well, as of right now, out with a concussion. That's fine. They'll get the other Nylander in the draft this year. Alexander. They'll have both Nylanders. And then they'll they'll hire on Michael. Exactly. Family Nylander. <laughs> Who didn't Nylander play for? Who? Islanders. Michael. Didn't Michael. He yeah, played he played for Islanders and Flyers. Flyers and. Uh, maybe the Caps? No. So he never played with Brendan Shanahan. Because I was wondering if there was just a crossover. Uh, I don't think so off the top of my head. You could look into it if you want. Yeah, I might. Um, well, Canada, leading right after the following game, they played the USA. They lost 4-2. to two, uh, And their last loss in the World Junior Championship in the opening game was 1998-99. 98, they lost flat out. In 99, they tied. Um, and normally when they lose, they don't do too well. They've never medaled when they've lost the first game. Really? Apparently. Well, maybe that'll change. But, uh, and then their second, their next game, they played Denmark. They won 6-1. They put on 58 shots on net, and they had points from 13 different players. Uh, uh, and then, last night, or yesterday, they took on Switzerland. They won 3-2 in a shootout, which is kind of rough. Um, uh, fun yeah, facts about good. Canada in this tournament. Canada last year... Uh, didn't trail at all at, at any once, point yeah. in the tournament. Uh, they've allowed the first goal in every game they've played. And just a weird fact, just uh, going back to the Swiss game quick, Canada leading into this game had an all-time record of 20-0 and 0 against Switzerland with a plus 96 goal differential. Wow. That's almost five games. And now Dan and I were talking before that we turned this on. Is this Canada's one of the worst teams yes. they've sent to the juniors in quite some time? Like This has got to be one of the worst teams since I've started watching like avidly in the last decade that they've sent that one of the worst teams. But like there's no notable like there's lots of very good hockey players. But not like notable. there's no notable. Like there's no McDavid or there's no Tavares. There's Tavares no Stankos, or yeah like Hall. Tate. There's no Nugent Hopkins. Yeah. Uh, th- this team does suffer from that. The other thing too is I just don't think the talent pool is that deep in Canada anymore. Not be I, I just don't think I think the other countries are finally starting to catch up to Canada. That's why we're seeing such a... Like, you look at USA Hockey, it's so strong now. Their like, whole top line, their whole top line, draft eligible players. Top Matthews, five. Kachuk, Dabrinkit. All all going to be top, what, 15, 20 players? For guaranteed. Guaranteed top Actually, 15. I think Dabrinkit uh, is uh, top 10. Right? Yeah. Uh, actually... Uh, He's leading the, the OHL, start, right? Uh, in, in points? Sport? I believe yeah. so, yeah. yeah. But that's... Like, a couple years ago, it was rare if you even had one. And now, like, you're looking, all these kids who are in cages are all draft eligible. Like They're all playing college beforehand. Yep. Like, holy Whoa. smokes. Now the new wave is what, what uh, Noah Hannafin and Jack Eichel did. Or Noah Hannafin. Where he advanced, he went there a year early and took glasses yeah. like, in the summer. That's what they're doing now. Yeah. And if you, you even want to, like, if the, the other nations are catching up, I mean, Denmark, they, they almost medaled last year. And then they're playing good. They've won a game this year. I mean... Oh, they got their first regulation win ever in the World Juniors I mean, uh, yesterday. You look at Nikolai Ehlers. Or two days ago. Like, like, like Ehlers is potentially a star player, and he's from Denmark. Like, when's the last time that happened? Uh, and then they also have that other Dane. You know, uh, like, Timo Meyer. My, was it Meyer? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, the captain. Yeah. yeah. These other countries are starting to produce good well, hockey. And, like, even yeah. just look at that. Like, Denmark beat Switzerland 2-1. to one, <laughs> And Canada Ooh. had to beat them in a shootout. It's yeah. just... Canada, what I've noticed it with even not that like they're they are as skilled, if not more skilled than other teams, but Canada's relying still on the skill of the players instead of playing a, a system. Oh, Every other team sure. we've played, like Switzerland yesterday oh. was playing the trap. That's what they were doing. And they were playing Oh, they're team. playing out of their mind at the, the one, trap. The one thing I also noticed is it like the players for USA when they played the game against the States, the players were moving around a lot more and it wasn't just I feel Canada doesn't play as a team as much as these other teams do. Yeah, they do not. They, they're they relying individu- individu- individually. individual skill. Yeah. Yes. Individually. Yeah. Well, no, and even, like, even... I'm not, I'm not going to single out any player, but the one that comes to mind was Mitch Marner. There's a lot of players, though, but Mitch Marner was just more the noticeable one because he's on the ice a lot more. They're so pass-happy. Pull yeah. the trigger. Shoot it. I know. Like, even... Yeah, they don't uh, want to be considered that guy. Yeah, no, yeah, and, and like, yesterday, Vertanen, there was a point where... He got the puck, 
And he literally, I counted three Mississippis, yeah. and then he shot it. He yeah. shoot. How is how is USA and these teams getting goals? Boom! Just rip it. Shots on net. Shots on net. That's how you do it. And that's how they got six goals against Denmark. Is Fifty-eight they, shots shooting. on net. On net, they got fifty-eight and shots. Denmark isn't a pushover anymore. No, they're not. You know they, um, they really played well against Switzerland. They like they rallied behind that win. Like and even watched them last year. They were a treat to watch. They're they're the underdog. People like cheering for them. Like I yeah. like. As much as yeah. I hated like, like being all tense and nervous yesterday watching the Switzerland game, every it's nice time to have. it's nice to have like not just games now. Like you know what? Last podcast I said we were gonna mow Denmark and Switzerland, and guess what? Bit me in the ass. But you know what? I'm happy to admit I was wrong because now we don't have like such disparity in the tournament where it's like you have games a couple of years ago when it was 2009. Canada played Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan beat them 16 nothing. Kazakhstan yeah. had 11 shots on net. We would have won that game without a goalie. A legend, you know, probably well, not. But, yeah. like, I don't like games like that. It's Those not fun. fun. It's not fun. fun. Last get, last night or yesterday, that was a great game. Or it really, like, one of my, f- not World Junior games, but one of my favorite games I've watched, I think, ever, was that Latvian-Canada game in, uh, oh, in Sochi. The Olympics. Yeah. That was nuts. With uh, Guzlevskis and net. That was such a fun game to watch, and we don't get that anymore. So that Switzerland game brought me back to that Latvian moment where it was just it was great to watch. Uh, obviously, sucks because now the best we can do is third. Is in it? Our, in our, yeah. Oh, With, right. Because we didn't every, had everybody else has won. Well, realistically, we can still finish second, but that would mean that either USA would need to lose, lose in overtime or just overall to Denmark tomorrow. Which. I mean, what happened today? We'll weave right into it. What did USA do to Switzerland? <sighs> what Kane... Oh, I'm not going to go there. Whoa. What Kane... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 No Whoa. way. We not, not okay. We do not condone Greg's thoughts and beliefs on this We podcast. don't condone anything we say today. Uh, <laughs> what he allegedly did. No, they, they absolutely... Demolished. Demolished, outplayed... They were trying not... They were having a hard time trying not to score in the third period. That's how really out, I didn't watch the that's game. That's how much USA dominated Switzerland. The score's 10, ten to 1. 10 to 1 and they stopped trying with 15 minutes left. They their last goal was in the second period with like 15 minutes left to go. They stopped caring. They scored 6 goals in the first yeah. first period. It, it was not only was it a slaughter, it was it abs, it just shows you how much better USA hockey is right now. And I think one of the big big disparities too between uh, Canada, USA, and even Sweden. Like you look at that USA Sweden game that happened a couple days ago. What what was the reason that game was one nothing? Goaltending. What does Canada not have again this year? Goaltending. Yeah, because even Mackenzie Bla- or Mason Mackenzie Blackwood. Blackwood was, that was his first game, and oh my, he looked terrible. He didn't look very good. Nope, not at all. We don't remember last year. We had Zach Fucali who played great. Eric Comrie played great. Look at the old other goalies we've had. You know, like Carey Price stepped up. Dustin Charsky stepped up. Justin Pogge stepped up. There's guys that come in and they step up in this tournament, and yet our goalies are the one thing that we never really have. What was it uh, a couple years ago with Wedgwood or whatever? that we Scott had, Wedgwood. We had so many issues with goaltenders when we don't medal or when we get bronze. And that's that was our Achilles heel, and I think that's going to be the Achilles heel again. If they beat Sweden tomorrow, really, tomorrow's a nothing game if USA wins. Which sucks that it's a nothing game. So we we get hypothetically we win to okay. Who does USA play tomorrow? Sorry, USA plays Denmark tomorrow. Okay, so so it's Switzerland's safe done. to assume they're going to win. That Switzerland game. has zero points. Denmark has Switzerland has a point because they went over. Oh, sorry, they have one point. Okay, uh, Denmark has three points for okay. their one win. If like realistically, Canada could get fourth. Like realistically, if Denmark. Wins against the U.S. and we lose to Sweden, and then but the tiebreakers goal is four. But even but then, then they have six points. We have five points, <sighs> which makes makes me wonder. And I want to just touch on this for a second. Is it time to go to three point wins in the NHL? Because this is a lot more interesting. To kind of seeing how it all plays out with overtime wins and losses. Like how much more interesting is it to have a three point win versus having a? Or you know what? I was just mulling That's... over in my head. If the game goes to shootout. Winning team gets one point, losing team gets nothing. Yeah. Well, that's what happened last so, night, So there right? is no... No, but no. There, there's no two points to the winner. Winner gets one, loser yeah. gets zero. 
Like overall in the game. What, oh, oh so if yeah. at the moment it goes to a shootout, yeah. you win, the, you the, get one point instead of two. Yes. Yeah. You lose, in the you, NHL. You lose, you I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Because there's teams who play for that, the, the gimme point. That, yeah. Yeah. I hate yeah, that gimme And then it takes no. it out because if you lose in a shootout, you get nothing. If you lose in overtime, then you then you, you can That's have a great the, point. the point. I, I but, like both ideas with the three. and Just because it's become a little stagnant and bleh, kind of boring. Yeah. With like, because it's easy to break down and correlate. Not that you wouldn't be able to do it then, but look at the breakdown. Like, there's so there's like th- a handful of scenarios more that could actually happen, yeah. where Canada could finish fourth and they'd get relegated. Yep. Is it only top three? No. Yeah, if you finish dead last in your division, you get relegated. No, but Switzerland's dead last. We can't finish below oh, Switzerland. Oh, there's five. So we'd enough. finish four. We'd oh. finish fourth. Okay. So Canada tomorrow, they take on uh, Sweden at yeah. a noon Central Standard Time. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? I, I they seriously need, they need think go- Sweden's going to win this. I think Sweden's going to win this, but I also think that if they can score early, maybe get a one nothing, 2 nothing lead early on, they'll p- probably push Sweden back on their heels. And I think Black... Oh, is it Blackwood, right? Mm-hmm. Mackenzie Blackwood? I think he can stand tall and net enough to backstop them that way, but like you said, I think the other issue that we've had with goaltenders too is there's no system in front of them, and that hurts a goaltender because he should know what his players are doing. And maybe that was him just trying to get fitted last game into kind of what's going on. It's very tough for players playing in front of different goalies as we've seen as Jets fans, as we've seen as just general NHL fans. Whenever you have a goalie there and it changes all the time, it's tough to know how that goalie plays, right? So hopefully tomorrow he can have a standout game because the Switzerland goal, or Switzerland, Sweden goalie is really, really good. I wish I knew his name. I can't think of his name right now, but um, let's just say it's probably Sin on the end. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) S-S-O-N. Yeah. Um, Did you guys get a chance to watch any other team play? Yeah, well, I watched some of that De- uh, Denmark Switzerland game. Okay, I've watched a little bit of Finland because they apparently have. They are unbelievable. They're so good. Whoa, whoa. Them and, they're uh, so actually, big. Have you? Uh, I don't know. It. I don't know. Yeah, if you, he did. I don't know if you've seen this. I, I don't know if you know this, but has has Russia and Finland played yet? Yeah, yeah Russia uh, beat Russia beat Finland five three in the first game of the tournament. Uh, second game. Of Damn the it! Because uh, I really wanted to Russia's, watch that because Russia's really good too. Russia, that was a hell of a game. I watched all oh, of it. I, didn't see I watched it, but... it with Karish. Um, Russia scored two goals off of Finnish defensemen <laughs> oh. from like behind the net. But like, oh, it was rough. They're so they're good. they're not because realistically, okay, Finland finished a second. That's Canada's game in the medal round. That's who they have to play. Finland or Russia. Finland, because Finland's going to finish second. Russia's going to get first. <sighs> Czech, Repu- Czech Republic's getting third, and Czech Republic are no pushover. They're Czech Republic got David Pasternak. They sent him overnight. Yeah. They're like, yeah, go. He's like, hey, can I play? They're like, yeah, to- <laughs> totally, David, you go. That's you go, like David. Denmark just calling Nick Ehlers up for the game tomorrow against the States. No, like, they got him in like <laughs> within like the yeah. hours of the deadline. They were yeah. like, can David come play? <laughs> Fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but no, that's, I don't know how checks sound. I'm sorry. That other, just think of your armor yager. Um, that other division, like if you look at it, Canada, hasn't necessarily regressed. They've stayed the same. Where Russia, Finland, USA, there's not Sweden, a group they're of all, death anymore. They're all good. They're all good players. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, Finland just like they're big, they're dangerous, they're fast, they all know how to play systems, they're fins. Um, and they're huge guys like Jesse Poljujarvi, Patrick Line, and Miko Rantanen. Patrick Patrick Line or Liney and uh, Jesse Puyarvi or Puyarvi, those two guys together are on in on almost every goal. It's this, unbelievable. This is what potentially we're going to see this year. Because let's say Canada doesn't make it to the like. Let's say Canada loses in the quarterfinals or loses yeah. the semifinals. Um, we're going to see great hockey nonetheless. Because if you think about it, Canada finishes third. Let's say hypothetically they lose in overtime or win tomorrow randomly and beat Sweden. Okay, so Sweden would finish second, so USA would be uh, first. Okay. Finland would play us, beat us, beat Canada, yeah. then have to play US, then play Sweden in the gold medal game, or Russia. That's a hell of a hockey. That's I like it. good I'm hockey. It. Hell of a hockey. Hell, hell of, of a hockey. Because Sweden would play Czech Republic, which would also be a really good game. 
And you know what? Like that Russia, or it'd be yeah, Russia Denmark. I don't think that'd be that much of a pushover game. No, I would take Russia, but still Russia think, too. Denmark's uh, fast. Do though. you think Canada realistically, if they have to go f- through Finland and Russia to get to the gold medal, or think- Finland USA or no, their 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 road is either. Finland? It's either it goes Finland and it's either USA or Sweden depending on how tomorrow goes. Hmm. That's their route. Do they, do they have a shot? What? <sighs> tomorrow they tom- if they That is work- a tough Okay, if they build if they win tomorrow, hypothetically, they win and they play their best game, they can build from that and then they get in. Russia and then USA. No, they? they would get USA because remember okay. it's one one three from each pool and two four from the other pool. Oh, so we'd have to play. We'd play Sweden, and then yeah. we'd get U.S. and then Sweden and, and then, or Finland, Russia. So we get no, we get Finland because they finished second. So pool so A, if, we win and tomorrow. pool B. Okay. So one in pool A plays over here. One in pool B plays over here. One in pool A plays four in pool B. One, uh, one B plays four A. Oh, and okay. that way, so it switches, it. right? Okay. So they play Finland or Russia, whoever finishes second. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Finland. They play Finland, then go through either the states or Sweden, and then go play either Russia, the states, or Czech Republic, most likely. Wow, that's not an easy road. That bronze medal game. Sorry to interrupt you. That bronze medal game. Whoever it's between, it's gonna be a fucking good game too. Oh, only from here now. It's the best. This has been the best tournament for non-Canadian talent we've ever seen. You look. Today they showed the draft board of the top 10 players. Yeah. Is there a Canadian? There's one Canadian on that list? Or is there one? Uh, I have... In the top 10 is only one. Uh, uh, Jacob Chitron, I believe. Chitron's not in there. Who is the forward then? I don't think... I do not remember seeing Chitron's name in there. What were you going to say, Dan, about the NHL? No, I I was just going to say, do you think the NHL should adopt a playoff format where... There's some crossover of who plays who instead of it being one plays three in your own division. They want to build rivalries. That's I, their plan. And yeah, that's kind of what I thought of after the. Fight. But I, I'm I'm a little sick. Like I'm a little disappointed that it's not. And we talked about this before. That's not just the best eight teams make the playoffs. I think that's the way it should be. Okay, go. Talk oh, no, draft I, rankings. Right? I don't have the draft rankings. I just have the prospect list. I didn't have the draft. Oh, rankings. okay. So if you have draft rankings, I'll, let I'll you find find. them. Well, in, just in the meantime. Uh, I will read off the. Uh, all right, these are the the prospects that are sent. I'll just name the top the top teams. There's uh, Arizona has seven prospects at the tournament, and then Detroit, Philly, Boston all have six prospects, and then at the bottom, uh, Pittsburgh has none, Montreal has none, and then it's kind of a mishmash in between there. But isn't that insane that Arizona has seven? Yeah, I did think that's a little crazy. They're clearly building a lot better. Um, they're clearly going towards something now, which is good to see. But nonetheless, do you have uh, a? I'm trying to find it. Right okay, now. no it's problem. It's just loading. Well, no, I'll just I'll keep going on this. Uh, so Dan, you haven't had time to watch any of them. Oh, you know what? No, I know what I no, can talk I about. This is we're totally organized. It's what we do. You guys know. Um, come on, Cameron, find it. Fun fact about the uh, teams at the World Juniors: these are just players on. Uh, entry level contracts. Canada has eighteen players on entry level contracts valued at twenty three point four million. Sweden has six players at six point two. That's second. Canada's got eighteen, and we're getting their booties handed. USA has six at five point eight. Czech has four at four point nine eight. Russia's got four at four point four. Finn's got four at four point oh two. Switzerland has two players at two point four, and Slovakia has one player at uh, seven hundred thousand. How's Slovakia doing right now? I don't think very good. No, I, I think nothing off the top of my head. I think they're. I haven't even heard about them, so that can't be good. No. So are we, no list on that. Uh that's yeah, fine. My phone's working. No, slowly. we can move on. We'll get it. We'll get it. But no, from that list, I remember it was Matthews, Kachuk, Puljujarvi, um, Patrick Lang, Lang. Lang. Um, probably a few Russians in there. If not, a for sure a Finn. No, not a Finn, uh, a Swiss, Swiss player. Sergachev. That's a Russian. Lane. Yeah. Oh, and um, Nylander was in there as well. So, it, it was it was a solid, solid list of a lot. So, needless to say, if you haven't checked it out yet, please, I urge you, commend you, take in some more junior hockey. 
it's definitely going to, it's worth your time, 100%. It's great. I love it. Every year. But especially this year, just because it is, it sucks that Canada isn't the crazy powerhouse that they normally are, but it's nice because it allows you the, I, I don't know if the, I don't, I'm trying to think of a word. It's nice seeing other countries do good because you know that it's only going to benefit the NHL and hockey in general, which is crazy to think just because hockey is one of the only sports in my mind, that all fans are like, oh, yeah, no, that's great for the sport. You never hear NBA say that. You never hear NFL say that. Hockey's the only one that we're constantly promoting it. You got it? The one that they had in there was Julian Goche. Canada. Yeah. In the top ten. Yeah. Because they feel, I guess the consensus is now Jacob Trichern has fallen because he didn't make Team Canada this year. Well, I mean, we were we were criticizing Team USA about how they built Jack the team, team and Canada. And they've done a good job. I fucking hate the smug look on fucking Ron Wilson's face, though. So. Yeah, that's because you're a Leafs fan. Fuck, I hate him. So I don't much. like Ron Wilson either, though. He does weird interviews. I, where he's like smug and douchey about you know, it. I'm sorry, Ron Wilson. I could definitely have a beer with him, sit oh, down yeah. and talk hockey. But I also look at him and be like, "You've done a lot of stupid shit in your life." But he'd probably look at my life and be like, "You're a dumbass too." Like. Yeah. That's just the way it is. To each their own. Well, you guys, do you have any closing words before we get on to the Christmas part of this podcast? Uh, no, I'm good. Well, let's do it. Who wants to give out gifts first? Dan? Are we on the air? Can I start? Yeah, we're going to do Can I start? It. Well, I didn't bring in the appropriate. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> yeah. guys. Uh, friendship. Thank and you. friendship. It's the best. We accept money. Cash. It never... Cash. Greg's friendship, you can never return it. It's there forever, no matter it. what. I know. Does it come with a gift receipt? No. no gift receipts of Greg's friendship, that's for sure. All right. I dropped the ball, guys. I apologize. No, that's fine. It's okay. I got it. I packed you guys. Oh, if you go to the dollar store, fun fun insider trading. If you go to the dollar store, you can get gift bags and gift wrap for under five bucks. It's sweet. It's the dollar if store. If you go to the Greg, dollar store, you can get everything for in the you, store. Don't for open it yet. Bucks. Okay, Greg, I won't open it yet. Greg, for, for you. you. Oh, hammer geez. in. Thank you, sir. Oh, mama, that's heavy. That you know what heavy. the bullshit thing is? The guy that didn't bring anything gets open too. <laughs> But next time you guys get to open a gift and I don't get anything. That's so. okay. Well, okay, you guys. I'll, open how would I wrap what I don't like? You guys, I didn't guys. write a card. So, Greg, now you guys I. open yours for me first. No. At the same time? Yeah. Okay, same it. time. And is it the just, same present? Uh, describe what it is. Well, it's fuzzy. There is tissue paper. Ah! More tissue paper. Yeah. More tissue paper. Oh, it's the Santa hat! <laughs> yeah! Dan, I just won and I bought myself one, too. We're all, Wee, wearing, doggy. We're all wearing Santa hats. You can't see my, it right my now. My head's maybe too big for this. Is it really? Yeah. It's okay that mine's not movie fit. quality. It's it fits. It's non-refundable. It fits. <laughs> it's good. Thank you, Cameron. It's okay that mine's not movie quality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all got... You know what we should do? We should take a picture and post it on Twitter. We should. We'll post it after. We promise. Actually, that should just be our podcast picture. This hat is goddamn It should be our podcast. I know. It's warm, too, dude. And then when you wear it outside, it keeps you warm. Legit. Oh, man. Yeah. This might be my new rink hat. Go ahead. Yeah. Who, who doesn't want to get dangled by a Toronto Maple Leaf Santa, man? Uh, all right. Everyone Are does. we opening a gift from Dan now? We're oh. opening Dan's gift. Same time, or do we have to do it separately? You can do one at a time if you want. Okay, Greg, you go first. Why me? You have because well, you've already ruined yet. Christmas anyway, so I hope you enjoy yours. I'm <laughs> just <Hey>, kidding. So <laughs> oh, we probably shouldn't open it right by the mic. It's probably all they hear is like. Oh, oh, oh. I am your father. It's a book. It is Greg a book. doesn't know how to read. Oh! oh! What is Fucking it? Fucking writes the Pat Quinn book. The life of a hockey legend. That's awesome. Wow. With the receipt in there, you can take Just that, in case sir. you had to return, I didn't know if you got it or not. I'll open oh mine my as God, well. I'm pumped. Wow. I I've been looking for too. a new book to read. Ooh. Ron McLean Hockey Towns, Untold Stories from the Heart. The receipt's of also there. I, did, I didn't know if you had it. So. Oh, I don't have this. You this is sweet. Thanks, uncover. Dan. I, I like how I, I give the gift of warm ears and Dan gives a gift of knowledge. So much better. What could I gift out? Well, you know what? I was well, trying now, to now, find... Now the line's been set, and I you're know. like, okay, your move, Greg. I was yeah, trying exactly. to find something wrestling for Cam and something Star Wars for you, and I just couldn't. Because <laughs> they're all picked over. They're the yeah, top-selling things, terrible. obviously. This is wicked. Nice. I know. Yeah, I'm pumped. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Excellent. I didn't know if you guys read or not, but I figured... Oh, hey, yeah. No, we... I'm read. just finishing uh, the new... Uh, uh, James Franco book. Jay Onray book. Franco. Oh, I almost got you that one instead, but I didn't know if... I thought this one sounded better. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh this yeah. is fucking awesome. Beautiful. Well, hey, instead of just gloating about this, guys, it's the, it's Christmas time. What did you guys get for Christmas? 
Oh, what did I get? I got uh, candy. I, got I was asking the listeners. Oh. I know what you got. You got right. Dino Sours. Yeah. I got Dino Sours, gift cards, and I got the gift of sleeping in. It was yeah. nice. What'd you get, Daniel? I got... Wait, you can't forget the phone case. No, I got a Jurassic Park phone case, which is the most fantastic present I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. It is pretty awesome. Um, some candy. Some American money for uh, when I leave you guys for a week. Yeah, your scouting report. Scouting report? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, the forward for this book says Tough Guys Cried on November 23rd, 2014. They did. Well, it's true. Greg, what'd you get for Christmas? I got new bedding. How many How many count? Three I don't know. We talking? Twelve. We're trying to sell it to the ladies here. Ladies listening to our podcast, for sure. Twelve threads. The entire thing. Really? It's very uncomfortable. So you can't fall asleep with a fan on because they all get pushed to one side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything just moves with a fan. No, it's uh, it's really comfortable. My uh, my old comforter, you could squeeze it and your fingers would touch each other like without any padding in between. It was essentially wait, a wait. sheet. It became That's a sheet. That's my blanket right now. Too. Am I supposed to change that? I'm not kidding. I want dead serious yeah. about that. Well, it's up to you. What do you find comfortable? Sleeping in the nude. And someone waving at me with a big, big uh, rhubarb leaf. I, it's funny because, like, I have I have a few friends that <laughs> live live near Cam who aren't like mutual friends of us. But I drive by Cam's house sometimes at like two a.m. and I'm sure he's up. But I think it'd be hilarious to pull in his driveway and just knock on his window, then pull away and drive away. Are you just knock like, on his window wearing like a like a like a scream mask or something? No, like I'll like wear a... that Velociraptor. There you go. The inflatable Velociraptor costume. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Wait, uh, we didn't do our New Year's resolutions. Oh, sorry. What is our New Year's resolution? Hey, at? go. Not to miss a week of it, Last Minute Podcast. We missed, really, we missed one in since our break last year for Christmas. And that was because of extenuating circumstances. So, pat on the back to us. Yep. We've almost, we almost did 52 straight weeks. We That's should, yeah, not good. miss a week. Maybe try and get the timing down. But then again, it's also because we just get right into topics. Yeah. And Greg, I owe you, man, I owe you shout outs. Because I don't know if you listened last week. I let Dan and Carrie talk like almost a damn near hour about the Jets. It is hard to reel us in. It is real hard. It's rough. It's rough. You guys, uh, Dan can go off the rails. Carrie was interesting to listen to. It's good to have a different point of view sometimes. That's why I like getting guests in here. Yeah, you, you we should get more time. guests. That's what we should do. And more we should guests? actually hold up and actually bring... Real people. No, we've... Ah, Connecticut. Oh, Nick. Nick. Nick from Connecticut. Yeah, we should actually have him on because they do have Skype now. Oh my we God. should actually have fans call into us. That'd be fun. We talk to fans. We could open the phones. We could set up a, a, a Skype for our... We could. I, you know what? I'm going to do that. Legit. That'd be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't think the quality would be great, but I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, okay, so that's it yeah, then. Sure. What what's your New Year's my resolution? Personal resolution? Yeah. Mine, my New Year's resolution, it's not a New Year's resolution. I just I want I the gift of just give me one Russian girlfriend. Just a hot just girlfriend one? from Instagram. I made one last <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> made one, one of those girls from Instagram. <laughs> name Slavia Polikov. <laughs> to go. Sorry, like go all ahead, Jess. I was just gonna say I made one a couple of days ago going through my bookshelf. I want to read one book a week this year. Whoa! We'll, we'll see if that happens. a week. That's funny because I made because I like, have way too many books. I wrote. I, I added a book a month, like on mine, because <laughs> I read so slow. Uh, I am so jacked. I'd also like this. to get to the gym five days a week. Wow, Dan's getting shredded. Aggressive. I have to run the half marathon this year because I lost a bet to you guys. I forget which one, but I'm running the half marathon this year. So, uh, what has to happen for us to get the treats a cake this year? Yeah, what was it? Justin Cam? Falk, 19 power play. Yeah, I right. want that to happen soon. Yeah, I want treats of pizza. We're gonna get treats of pizza anyways. If he loses, we get treats of pizza. Yeah. If anyway. he gets it, we get treats of pizza. Yeah. Greg, what are you doing? Ah, uh, my New Year's resolution. I really haven't put much thought into it. I. uh want to get into a very strict regimen and stay in that strict regimen of school, um, this coaching work, and then uh, maybe doing some physical activity on the side. Actually, you know, my biggest thing is cutting down on fast food, and I've done a pretty good job of that because my car's been broken down for four days. Except next podcast. <laughs> That's not fast food, Cam. It's delicious. That is gifts from God. That is high quality. That's You're not right. fast food. That's You'll know what we're talking God. about next week. It's burgers and fries from... Right. 
one man. Georges. Jorge. Jorge's. 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 All right, guys, send us home, Greg, for 2015. Well, last podcast for another year. This was our first full year on doing this, so that's pretty awesome. Like, first full calendar year. a real good year. groove. Yeah. yeah, we have. Um, so thank you guys for making a dream become a reality of doing a podcast with some of my best friends. And uh, guys, stay safe on New Year's Eve. Um, that's kind of the biggest time of the year for a lot of idiots to go out drinking, so... If you're doing that, don't be an idiot. Don't drink and drive. Take a cab if you need to. Call a parent. Trust me. I've done it before. It's 3.30 in the morning. You're stranded. Way better than taking your own car is to wake your parent up. They'll be pissed off, but they'll be thankful that you're there in the morning. So, guys, Very true. stay safe. And uh, until next time, Happy New Year.